I believe I'm falling. I'm falling through infinity. There's that piece of light, the blazing light mixed with waterfalls. Shapes around me. Repeating shapes. Um. Hello? Woo! Good thing I got some pretty strong knees. The light goes and it falls down into the crack of something. Interesting. Crescents. Matching the images of crescents that we saw earlier. And a dial that I bet you we turn. And is this another doorway that I'm looking at right down there? Let's not be too eager to just jump into any of these things. Let's see what we have. It certainly looks like another doorway right there, doesn't it? Okay, there is our large tree mushroom cloud symbol. I wonder maybe is this dial teaching us to count? It looks like it. One, two, three, four, and five. Yes. Okay. It's teaching us written numbers. We have matching crescents over here, but they don't. Hmm. You could just count the crescents. I wonder what happens if I move that down there. Let's look around first before we do anything. Okay, so we have light. Take a look. The light coming in from this direction that we can see in the middle of the framework of the large symbol. Uh, looks like glass. Uh, the, most likely this is some form of lens. We also have this light over here. I'm thinking that po quite possibly the, the task is to rotate this thing around in order to reflect some light onto this gold panel. Makes sense to my mind, anyway. Possibly rotate it around to illuminate these. One is three, but this does isn't the same symbol as four that we had up there. I mean, there are four hash marks. That one is. Hello? another way down, do we? Or is this just... I bet you this is just the way up if you happen to be clumsy and fall all the way down here. Most likely. First, you can determine if I push on this, will it move? No. How about the other way? How about if I stand on it? Nope. Okay. Oh, I remembered incorrectly. Okay, so the four is like one... Yeah, it's four crescents, but like... Like one of them's upside down. Okay. So, let's see if what happens if we go press the numbers on these... Go press these uh, numbers on these blocks. Hello? I hear whispering. So we'll press number one. Aha! Well, I'm glad you think it's funny, whoever you are. Did anything... I don't think it moved, though. Did anything down here change? No. Let's go and check and see if anything changed on the other dial. The upper dial. No. Okay, so according to that one... Oh, wait a second. Oh, we've got two different sets of numbers. Do they both start... Let's take a look. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, we've got two different ways of counting to five with two different sets of symbols. This one, the crescent mark is horizontal. And at the base, the crescent mark is vertical. Um, okay. Let's go to this. The base for number two is two horizontal crescent marks like this. Let's touch this one and see what happens. Aha, it does rotate. How about that, huh? Okay. So the objective, I, if I think that I need to reflect some light... Whoa, oh my god! Watch your step. <laughs> Yeah, I believe I probably need to reflect some light onto this golden panel over here. Then I first need to pivot. Let's first pivot the base around. So I need to point it at four. With, uh, the two crosses, one of them upside down, this one down here. Hello? Oh, I missed it. Okay, good. Now, can I see... Uh, hopefully, I can see a, look, a place where this is reflecting. I can see some of the shadows moving. Oh, it's really, it's kind of edge on... Yeah, it's kind of edge onto the light. It's coming down, isn't it? Uh, okay, let's try moving it to four. Or wait a second, no, I already tried four, and it's five, I meant. The one that's kind of a, a square marking. Yeah, this one up here. Okay. Oh, I just... I only now noticed that we actually have something over here that I may be able to walk over here and actually walk onto the thing like that or jump onto it. Like, perhaps that's, that's part of the element of the puzzle. Okay, well, we definitely have the... We have the device. It's facing into the light now. Here, let's do a running jump at this. See what happens. Can I jump up here? Oh, whoa, I jumped right through it. I jumped right through that stone pedestal. Uh, now I'm walking around inside the lens, symbol lens, whatever. Maybe I'm wrong about having to trying to reflect some light. I don't see where this is reflecting anything, but maybe it won't until we get over there. I just noticed something. Does that look like a sliding switch kind of what's it over by there where we came in? Wee! Boom! Really good knees. I bet you I was supposed to notice that first. Oh, it certainly does look like it, doesn't it? What happens if we push on this? Can I look down there, inside there? Ah, okay. That turned the light on. Ooh, there, and it's hitting the... what I was aiming at. First thing. <laughs> Looks like I just guesstimated okay on it, didn't I? All right. So is this a door? Can I walk through it? Or is there something else that has to happen? Ah, I see. Some of the light is going the other way. No, you can't. It is not a door. You cannot walk through it. Take a shower while I'm here. It's like heavy work and it's getting kind of sweaty. Oh, no, I get it. Oh, okay, okay, hang on. No, the light comes from that panel. It hits the lens. I need to figure out what am I supposed to illuminate with it. Okay, that's what's happening. 
Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> um, so let's climb back up here. Let's take a look for stuff that can be illuminated and try and consider what is it that should be illuminated. Is there something in this elk? Oh, how about that big panel right up above? Think that could be it? Yeah, that big square panel right up in the corner of the ceiling, which I failed to notice earlier. Okay, so first thing, we want to align this thing. Let's align it uh, horizontally. Let's put it back to notch number three. So that's, that's the one that it'll, it'll look kind of, it looks kind of like a bucket. Yep, this one right here. Yep, okay, and now we want to rotate the thing upwards. Oops, all right, watch your step, it's a doozy. So let's go ahead and uh, betcha, how about four? Number four, which would be the, yeah, that one down there in the end on this level. Not quite. Okay, we want number five. Yeah, it's okay. That's what that one looks like. I believe that's up on the top floor, isn't it? Whoa! Should be more careful. <laughs> Glad you think it's funny, although I already made that joke once. Okay, let's touch this thing. And we it is now projecting light through oh oh. Aha! There's a sparkly fountain over here. Achievement unlocked shining beacon. That's interesting. I really wasn't interested in unlocking any achievements. I'm just wanting to see see the, the the vision of the game's creator let's go jump on this thing Yee! hello oh okay something happened and now i'm back this is the oh my um oh that's the broken tower except maybe not broken what happens if i step towards it am i going to fall there's a dimly glimpsed roadway towards it. This is the geyser of light that I unleashed earlier. Uh, okay, let's do a jump. Running jump! I'm still pressing forward. Oh, it's a... Oh, it's water. Okay, now I'm just walking for... Ooh! Catching a ride in the water. Tall tower, yeah, and that in the stream of water, the water and light runs straight. Ooh, don't look down. <laughs> <laughs> runs straight to the top of it and connects. Okay, here we are. Uh, how far does this extend around? See, I'm not a big fan of just immediately going to where it looks like it's obvious where you're supposed to go. Let's find out what else is here first. Oh, can you not walk any further this direction? There's an invisible wall that blocks me. I'm not able to walk any further in that direction. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll give, game. I will, I will yield to your artistic vision, and I will go where it is obvious you want me to go. Notice that this door is not rippling. It is not water. You cannot see what is on the other side. Hello? Okay. 
So we're walking towards something. I'm in the dark. I'm heading towards the light. This really does... Am I, am I wrong to think that I'm seeing many metaphors for death throughout the whole thing? Am I wrong to think that? Okay. I'm in a large teal room. This, this looks like a stone doorway, but as you approach, things happen. Yeah, picture frames with no pictures in them. This thing, Indiana Jones, would take a little gold idol off of that. Oh, hello, portraits. Blank, staticky portraits. Who were you? What did you see? What is it you have to tell me, please? This is a different symbol. Have a good day. It's nice meeting you. More thrones. Is there an octagonal pedestal near nearby the throne? Yeah, if, if if the earlier symbol was a tree, then this could also be a motif for something growing out of the ground, possibly. Ha! I'm king. Maybe not. We have levitating blocks in here. Ah. Uh, but is it going to form another one of the images from the TV screens? Mm, no. Ooh, okay. Well, stuff started steaming over there, so apparently we, we turned the oven on. Something's boiling. I bet you now we'll go over to the... Oh, hey, yeah. Okay, so we turned one oven on. Let's go turn the other one on. I bet you something in here turns the other one on. Oh, how disappointing if it's exactly the same little puzzle. I'd want something different. Well, maybe this one isn't being so easy. Okay. Careful what you ask for. Good. The other oven on? Yes, good. Okay, let's get on the chair again. Hey, what's happened? What? Oh, oh, the whole floor elevated, and there's another one of those octagonal pedestals. Yeah, whenever you see a chair, you have an octagonal pedestal. I know not why. Ah, that's the way we're meant to go. So you still could go down and go back if you wanted to. But I do not want to. I want to continue on. Uh, honestly, if there's symbology, if there's meaning in this, in this putting, the, putting the blocks together to light the fires by the chair, I, I'm not getting it. Sorry, dude. <laughs> Ooh, sparklies. It's a planetarium. More TV screens, sort of. Just the wind blowing. Models of... That looks like a building. Model of a building. And the wind blowing. This looks like a model of another building. I thought I heard a bonging noise. Yep, you touch it. It bongs. Oh, and different songs. That one looks like it's already broken. It's a model of something broken. So you touch these things, they make noises. That looks almost like a animal, or, or a, it could be a man kneeling. Except he has a tail, more likely an animal. Could be a man with a tail.
Spiral. Helix, actually. Spring. Looks kind of like a shock absorber. That's probably not what he's going for, though. Bookend. Hello? Interesting. Oh, was I supposed to be paying attention to the constellations the whole time I was binging and bonging on these things? Do the constellations match the sculptures? What, what image am I supposed to be producing there? We still have this door. Um, I don't remember which door I came in. I think I came in from someplace blue. Or tealish over there. Okay, so... Whoop, what happened? Okay, let's just go try standing in the middle. I bet you we're, t we're trying to draw a picture that you take a look at by standing in the middle. I notice that we do have this other door that I can just walk through at any time. I wonder if this is another one like the music room where uh, it's just it's just to play with. Uh, let's. I don't understand what I'm supposed to accomplish, and the door is already open. That's a good one. I believe I'm going to proceed onward. Nice golden makes you think of sunlight. We have a transparent spinning what's it? It's much louder here. Actually, I have to turn my speakers down a little bit. And it looks like another doorway over there. Okay, so I came in through there. Calls to mind a TIE fighter. I wonder if that's what he's going for. The, oct the octagon is still there, with two crescents bracketing a circle in the middle. Maybe significant for something. Here is a closed door. Here is a window into another room where something is turning. Let's take a look at the closed door. It does open, and there's a way to get to someplace else. Let's take a look through the window. It is solid, yes. Now this is interesting. It makes me think of a space station. I suppose it could be representing a wheel. Are we talking like wheel of time, the wheel of life and death, eternal? Might this might this be what's going on? Ever spinning has no beginning, has no end. I'm seeing uh, a, a theme of eternity much of this game. Okay, uh, looks like another door will slide open here. So this is, I think this is a second uh, hub. Yeah, many doors. Yes, this is a second hub, much like the previous hub with the, the, uh, the spinning wheels and the fountain and everything. Okay. Yeah, this is another hub. We go through one door at a time. We solve more puzzles. If that's the case, I've actually been kind of recording for a while here. Probably get at least two or two, maybe three episodes out of how long I've been playing this from this one run. I believe I'm going to stop right now. We're going to cease recording. We're going to save the game. We're going to come back and do some more of this sometime later. Yeah, yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's a good game. I will talk to you later. Bye.